morning, HPC. Well done. We've made it, well, nearly made it, to the end of the first week of lockdown. I wonder how it's been for you. Well done for getting as far as we have. Um, And well done for continuing to um, trust Jesus. Well done for continuing to watch Rory's ramblings on this um, our Lent book. I hope that you're enjoying them. It's certainly um, proving a challenge for me to keep thinking uh, and reflecting on in the light of what I'm hearing, how we might apply that to our lives. But um, just want to uh, uh, tell you two things that struck me from reading yesterday's um, passage, yesterday's reflections by Sinclair Ferguson uh, from Luke chapter 20. <clears throat> and the first was that Jesus dies in exactly the way that he planned. It's tempting to think, I think, that in some respects, uh, Jesus gets outmaneuvered, that his opponents are too clever, uh, too strong, uh, and that they get him in the end. Or even that he chances his arm once too often, and he's in out of his depth with people who are just uh, better political operators. But This passage from Luke chapter 20 will tell us there's absolutely no chance of that. Uh, The story of the spies that the religious leaders sent to try and catch him out by asking the unanswerable question only goes to prove that Jesus is completely in control, that no question is unanswerable to him. And it's important that we remember that. He died because that's what he planned to do. He died because that's what he and his father planned in all eternity, would happen. And the slick operators who think that one question will expose him, will put him in in jeopardy, know nothing. They've got no idea who they're dealing with. They ask the question, is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar? And it's a clever question because it will get Jesus in trouble. It will get Jesus in trouble with somebody. Either it will get him in trouble with the people who like people forever, don't like paying taxes. Or it will get him in trouble with the authorities, the Romans. Because if he equivocates, if he for a moment begins to suggest that maybe you shouldn't pay the hated taxes to the hated Romans, well, suddenly he's a subversive revolutionary and they've got him on a charge that the Romans are going to take quite seriously. And somebody not paying their taxes and undermining the state. His answer demonstrates both his wisdom and his control of the situation. And bear that in mind, his control of the situation, as we enter Easter, because it will be tempting to see Jesus as forlorn and abandoned and a little bit feeble as those events unfold. But don't believe it. He goes to his death because he wills it, because he's totally in control of those events. The Bible even says, Uh, And he gave up his spirit. He chooses the location, the method and the exact timing of his death. How anyone could choose to die in the way that our Lord Jesus chooses is almost beyond imagining. But he chooses it because he loves us so. And that love is related to the second thing this part of Luke chapter 20 verses 19 to 26 show us. And that is that being a Christian is a whole life thing. Jesus answers the taxing question by saying, give to people what is owed to them. So he held up a coin uh, and he said, uh, this is a a Roman coin he held up. um, He held it up and he said, whose image does that coin bear? And unlike our coins, which bear the image of Her Majesty the Queen, That Roman coin, a denarius, bore the image of Caesar. And Jesus says, well, give to Caesar what is owed to him. But in so doing, he also said, give to God what is owed to God. The image on the coin was Caesar. The image on you and I, according to Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 and 27, the image on every single human being is God's. So that's what we should aim to give him. Everything, our whole selves, all of our lives, our time, our energy, our money, all of it is viewed as belonging to God. Every every second, every breath that you have today belongs to him. 
And that's one of the reasons why Jesus loves us so much, because we are all image bearers of God. We are all of such value and worth, not because what we can do or because what we've learnt, but because God's image is on us. So we have so much value and so much purpose in our life. I don't know what you've got planned for today, but think on this. Today you are to give everything, all of you, to God, to his service. I pray you'll have a a good day giving all that you are and everything that you have to God. Look out for um, uh, David's sermon, uh, which should be online at 10.30 on Sunday morning. Um, And, oh, if you're interested in joining a virtual prayer meeting, you don't have to have a computer, but if you're interested in doing that, uh, either by the telephone or online, uh, do give um, uh, me an email, rorygraham at hailshamchurch.org. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.